Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I have a great beginner's project for you and that's to make this drawstring top backpack. The straps are really easy to put on. The bag is even lined. You can use any fabric that you like. So let's get started. You'll need one half of yard of fabric for the outside, another half a yard of fabric for the lining, and then one fourth yard for the straps and loops, and then of course matching thread, and then one safety pin, preferably medium to large safety pin, I wouldn't use a real tiny one, and then I'm going to be using a rotary cutter and a ruler that works with your rotary cutter, and then also the rotary cutting mat. Now you can use scissors if you like, but you get better accuracy if you use the rotary cutter, but you can still use scissors. That is an option for you. Now, what I have here is you've purchased your fabric, and when you purchase it, it's folded with selvage in to selvage end. See this? And you want to leave it folded, and if there's any wrinkles in it, make sure you press it out because your cutting will be more accurate. Now, you want to take both fabrics, the lining and the fabric for the outside bag, lay them on top of each other. And then you want to take your folded edges up here and you want to line those up. So pull them together where it's straight across the folded edge. Now on your cutting mat, over here is the zero line. That's the line that's right next to the big numbers and there's also a zero line going across and you'll see big numbers there too. You want to take your fabrics and pull them past the zero line over here. And the reasoning behind that is because when you buy your fabrics, you can see it's all jagged, it's not cut even. So we're going to straighten that edge up. But before you cut, you also, I'm going to tug on this a little, you want to put the folded edge on the one inch line going across this way. So pull it down, make sure it's going straight across because we're going to cut both fabrics at the same time so they'll be exactly the same size. Once you have it all lined up, take your ruler's edge and you're going to place it on the zero line up here. So place it up there. And then you also, so that you know you have it straight, bring it on the zero line down at the bottom right here. Once you have it lined up, take your rotary cutter and go ahead and open the blade. Make sure you don't have your fingers in the way so you won't cut your fingers. Place that down, place firmly on the cutting mat and cut a little bit and then cut and then cut. And I'm going to do one more cut because I think my blade has a little dip in it. There you go. And just get rid of these little scraps, okay? Now, don't move your fabric. Now over here is the 15 inch line. You're going to place your ruler on that 15 inch line. And then be careful that it's also lined up down here at the bottom on the 15 inch line so that you know it's going to be straight. And then go ahead and cut again. And I'm going to do one more because I really think something went wrong with my little blade, which does happen. Then just set this fabric aside and save it for another project. So now we're going to do one more cut. You're going to Take your fabric, grab all the layers, and pull it away from that zero line on the side so that you can see these lines here so that it is exposed. Then pull your folded edge and place it on the zero line up here. And make sure it's straight across. And now we're going to do one more cut because we want to cut this 20 inches long. So over here, is your 20 inch line. So place your ruler on that edge, line it up really good, and then you're going to do your last cut. 
and go ahead and cut it a couple of times there. And then again, if you want to save this, you can or throw it away. Now your bag is cut. Now remember, if you wanted to use a pair of scissors to do this, then use a pencil and draw a line on those lines that I indicated and then cut with scissors. But before you cut with your scissors, make sure you place pins around the fabric so it stays together while you're cutting. But I highly recommend the rotary cutter. Okay, now set that aside and get your fabric for your straps and loops. And you're gonna begin to do it just like we did the other fabric. Make sure it's all pressed. You've got it folded in half like that. Take your raw edge over here, if it's crooked, which it probably is, pull it past that zero line again right along here. Okay. And then have the folded edge straight across here on the one inch line. I don't know how well you can see it on this line here, the one inch line. Okay. Once you've got it lined up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to trim that edge straight. Once you've got your ruler lined up up here as well as down at the other end, don't forget, line it up on both ends. Then go ahead and cut your fabrics. Then lift up your ruler. Don't move your fabric. And you're going to place the edge of your ruler on the two inch mark here. And you're going to do a cut. So line it up here as well as down at the bottom. Always line it up at both ends. And then go ahead and do your cut. Now I'm not cutting, I'm just demonstrating right now. Once you've cut that, don't move your fabric. Lift up your ruler, put it on the four inch line and do your cut. Then move it over to the six inch line and cut. Your last cut will be on the eight inch line. Now you have four straps and with any fabric you have left over, then you're going to use that to cut out your loops. So you're going to cut out a strip of fabric that is six inches long and one and a half inches wide. Then at your ironing board, you're going to press the fabric. You're going to fold the edges in towards the center. And then you want to leave a little bit of space in between the raw edges. You don't want to have it too close because if it's right next to each other, it will be too hard to do the second fold. So go ahead and press that. Then bring your two folded sides together and press again. Then you're going to do a stitch right across this edge. Now you're going to cut this in half because it's six inches long. Just line it up on your cutting mat. One, two, three, and then you're going to cut right there. Now you've got your two loops. Now take the straps that you just cut out, the four strips, and you're going to cut the selvage end off on all four strips. So cut that off so that your ends look like this. Okay, so we want to get rid of this white stuff. Now you're going to take two of your straps, two straps, and you're going to stitch them together. So you're going to bring the front side, which is your pretty side. Remember, the ugly side is the back side. This is the front side. Take those two sides, those two strips, bring them together, and you're going to stitch a one half inch seam right along here. So stitch that together. Take the next two strips and stitch those together right here. So now you have two long strips. Then after that, you want to take each strip 
and trim it to 72 inches. 72 inches. Each strip will be 72 inches. Once you've done that, then you want to go to your ironing board and press those seams open like this on both of your straps. Then you're going to be pressing them just like we did the loops. You're going to fold each side in towards the middle and again leave a little bit of space between those raw edges. I usually, because it's so long, I will press one side in down the strip and then go to the other side and press the other side in. Once you've done both sides, then fold them in half and press again. Then you're going to do a stitch along this edge. But one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to leave three inches open at each end. You don't want to stitch here, so you're just going to count over about three inches, one, two, three, and this is where you will start stitching. Stitch all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the end. When you get to the other end, you're going to stop three inches away from the other end. So we want to leave the two ends open. You'll do this on both of the straps. Then set your straps aside. This is the fabric that I'm using for my backpack. This is my lining and this is the exterior of the bag. This is the front side of the fabric. Here's my back sides. You're going to take both pieces of fabric for your bag and bring the back sides together. So when you turn it over this way, the pretty side is showing. When you turn it over this way, the pretty side is showing. So layer your fabrics like that. So here I have, I've lined them all up. There's my fabric for the outside of the bag. This is my lining. Then you're going to do a zigzag stitch along all four edges. So before you do that, place some pins along the edges on all four sides so that your fabric does not shift. After you've done your zigzag stitch, go to your ironing board and press all of the edges flat because sometimes when you're doing your zigzag stitch, the edges might pucker a little bit. So you want to flatten those back out. Then at each end of the bag, you want to fold the ends one quarter inch in towards the lining side always towards the lining side. So you want to do both ends like that. See how I have them both pressed. Now after you've pressed, you want to take your bag and fold it in half. And bring the top edges of the bag together. Like this. Then take some pins and it's important to kind of pin these two corners together so that they don't move around when you're doing the next step. Now once you've got these two edges pinned, then turn it to the side. And you're going to begin stitching this, the sides together, but before you do that, from the folded edges up here, you want to count down three inches. One, two, three. And place a pin there. Because this is where your seam is going to stop, right here. We're not going to stitch in here at all. Then continue pinning down the side of the bag. Continue pinning until you get down here to the folded bottom, right here. And then you're going to take your one of your loops, fold it in half, bring the raw edges ends together. I'll get it here. There we go. Fold it in half, take the folded edge and place it inside between the two sides of the bag. And there's the raw edges and stick it in there and kind of push it into that corner. Then I usually will take a pin and don't go through all the layers to hold it in there, but just so you get a little bit of it, just so it's grabbed a little bit. And then I usually take another little pin, 
to make sure it doesn't shift when sewing and I stick it right next to it. So now you have this whole edge pinned. Then you're gonna start stitching one half inch seam from this raw edge in. Start a seam, but go back and forth over this loop several times because this is a stress point and you don't want it to fall apart. So continue stitching all along here. And remember, stop at your last pin right here, three inches from the top. Leave this open, do not stitch there. Now do the same thing on the other side of the bag. Once you have those two sides stitched, then go to your ironing board. Okay, I've got a little mini ironing board here. And you're gonna take your bag and bring it over the pointed end of your ironing board. You don't have to bring it in too far, just a little bit. And then with your iron, press about two inches open of this seam right here. Now at the opening, you're gonna press the edges in one half inch, fold it and press one half inch or whatever the width is here that you wound up with. Press that in. Press this side also. Go to the other side of the opening of your bag and do the same thing. So on both openings, press it like this. Okay, so now you can go back to your sewing machine. And then on each side of the opening, you're gonna do a little reinforcement stitch right here because this is another stress area and you don't want it to all come apart. So you're gonna do a long rectangle, skinny rectangle. So you're just gonna start either end, it doesn't matter which one, and just stitch straight down here, then turn your fabric, turn, stitch across here. And whenever you turn your fabric in your sewing machine, leave your needle down and lift up the presser foot, then you won't lose your spot. And then after you stitched across here a couple of stitches, come back down, stitch across to close it off. Do the same thing on both sides. Then go to the other opening and do the same thing on both sides of that one. Good, now that you've got your opening reinforced, now you wanna do the casing. You're getting close to being done. This is exciting. All right, so you wanna take this. Now, if you did it right, you should have three inches here. So you're gonna fold it in half, which is one and a half inches. So once you've got it folded, you're gonna take this corner and bring it right where the opening starts, right here, okay? Hope you can see that. And go ahead, place a pin there to hold it. You can never use too many pins, okay? All right. Then go to the other side, fold it in half, place it right in there where that opening or that seam is, place a pin in there. Okay, so, then continue pinning across here. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is keep the other side tucked and out of your way. All right, because we're gonna stitch now and you don't want to stitch the other side into your seam. So you're gonna stitch across here and I'm gonna turn it over so you can see what it would look like. Okay, you're gonna stitch across right along this edge, right there, all the way across. Now you're gonna do both sides. So you need a casing created on each side. Then when you're done, you're gonna reach inside of this bag, turn it right side out, and at each end, each corner, just pull on your loops to pull that corner out. Okay, let me get the other one, if I can find it, there it is. Okay, so once you got the loops pulled out, your casing is all stitched, and now you're ready to do the drawstring. Okay, to put the um, straps into the bag, you're gonna go up at your casing here. 
and take one of your long straps and put a safety pin near the end of it. All right, so now you're going to feed it through one of the casings. So take it and begin to push it in. And now I'm going to try to demonstrate how to do this. I have a bum right hand, so it doesn't pinch and grab very well. But as you push on the straight pin, let it gather like this, then grab it, pull on the fabric, and continue pushing on the straight pin, let it gather, grab, and pull. Okay, now if you're having a hard time getting it to go through the casing, maybe your casing is too tight, or maybe your straps were made too wide. So it's important that you have your casing large enough to accommodate the strap width. Now I'm sorry it's, you're watching me struggle so much, but believe me, if you have two good hands, it goes really, really fast. Okay, so there, yay, I got it through one side. So pull it through oh, a little more than halfway. Then turn the bag over. And now you're going to go through the other side and push it inside of the other side, other casing. So take it and feed it through. And let it gather just like you did before. Straighten, let it gather. Straighten, let it gather. See, it goes to show you, even if you're handicapped, you can still do a lot of things, okay? When I lost the use of my right hand, it didn't stop me from sewing, because I love to sew, all right? And I hope you learn to love to sew as much as I do. You can save a lot of money by learning how to sew. All right, so when you come out this end over here, go ahead and pull it through. Now you'll notice you have two ends of your straps coming out here. Now I'm going to turn this and look, you've got the other wrapped around and looped around this end like that. Now this is the end you're going to start putting your second strap in. So you're going to put that safety pin on the other strap, feed it through here. Come all the way across over to the other side. Pull these two straps out of the way, then go in the other side and pull it all the way through to where you started. Now let me show you my first sample. This is what it's going to look like at each side. You'll see one wrapping around the corner and the other two straps out. And it should look the same on the other side. Now I'm going to go back to my other sample. So we're going to focus on this loop down here at the bottom. Take the end of your strap and open up your loop and pull it through. Take the safety pin off the other end. And you're going to open these two ends up. Remember how I said if you didn't stitch over them, well anyway, I can't seem to get it open. But open both ends. and bring right sides together. Once you get them all unfolded, do one half inch seam across there. One half inch seam. Then press that seam open and then refold your strips back 
and then stitch them closed. So let me show you on the finished bag so that you understand a little better. Right here is my seam. So you just close it back up, stitch along that edge. And then you do the same thing on the other side and then you're done. And you have this really nice, very functional, lightweight backpack. Now this particular bag you're looking at here, this one here, was made out of a heavier fabric. So often if you're using a really heavy fabric, your casing may have a hard time gathering up when you close it. So you may have to widen the width of your casing. So if you are struggling with your straps going through the casing, you may have to widen that casing a little bit. But I think this is a really nice bag and you just gather it up, lightweight bag, great for a little outing for the day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really do hope you try making this backpack. If you want to learn how to make other tote bags, check below the YouTube screen for the video links. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.